In this video, I'm going to find the characteristic polynomial of this 3x3 three three matrix, then go on and find its eigenvalues, and then go on and find the eigenvectors. I'll start by entering the code for the matrix A there. So I'll click on here, press the return key, then go to code. So enter that matrix A, so it's A is equals to open square brackets, then we have our 1 minus 2, 0, then semicolon to indicate that we are going to the next row, then 0, 5, 2, semicolon to indicate you are going to the next row, 0, 3, 0. And then we are done with uh, entering the matrix A there. I can just go on and run here. And we can see that that's the matrix A with row 1, minus 2, 0, 0, 5, 2, 0, 3, 0. I can now go on and evaluate the characteristic polynomial of the matrix A. So I click here, press the return key. Now enter the code for the characteristic polynomial of the matrix A. So I'll press on code here so that I enter the code. And the function that we use for characteristic polynomial is uh, on this one is short there, char poly. Then we indicate the matrix A. I'll call the characteristic polynomial P. P is equals to, and then we have a char poly. Open parenthesis, we are saying the characteristic polynomial of the matrix A. So that's what we are looking for there. And then I'll go on and run. So it's giving us the characteristic polynomial here is uh, these values there, 1, minus 6, minus 1, 6. What this is saying, these are the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial, starting with uh, the power 0, power 1, power 2, power 3. So what it is saying there, if, if we are using a variable lambda for our characteristic polynomial, we'll be having lambda cubed minus 6 lambda squared minus lambda then plus a constant 6. This just gives us the coefficients there. So for us to have the output as a polynomial there, what we can do is we can define a symbolic variable. So what I can do is I can press the return key here, then I define a symbolic variable x. But in our characteristic polynomial here now, we will say that uh, it will be having the variable x. Then I can go on and run. So we have changed here, defined a symbolic variable x, then characteristic polynomial of a, then specify the variable to be x. Then I go on and run. So we now have uh, the characteristic polynomial there, x cubed minus 6x squared minus x plus 6. So that's uh, the characteristic polynomial there after we have specified the variable to be x. So I'll now go on to the next part, evaluating the eigenvalues of the matrix A. So for the eigenvalues, I press the return key, then go to code here, and we want the eigenvalues. So the eigenvalues, I'll just give them a name, I'll call them a file. Then is equals to the function for eigenvalues is e i g open parenthesis a the matrix a we want the eigenvalues of the matrix a then i can go on and run this so we have the eigenvalues there they are one six and minus one those are the three eigenvalues of the matrix a that we have there i can now go on and find the eigenvectors of of the matrix A. So I press the return key, click here so that I enter the code. So for the code for the eigenvectors, what we just need to do is we open the square brackets and then give a name for our eigenvectors. I'll call them V, then comma, then the eigenvalues, just the E equals to, and then E I G. Open parenthesis a so this code here will give us the eigenvalues this one should be it's just the e there a v e where we are saying the v will be the eigen vectors the e will be the eigenvalues then i can go on and run here 
and it gives us here we are having a fee here which is one then minus 0 0.3369 0 0.3015 these values are coming out as uh, decimals there but we can change that uh, if you want them to come out as fractions what i can do is i can write the matrix a as a symbolic matrix so what i can just go on and do is i go on and change here make this one to be a symbolic matrix sym open parenthesis then uh, close parenthesis here then i can just uh, rerun so what we'll be having is uh, and the eigenvalues they are still the ones that we obtained earlier minus one one six and now we have our eigenvectors now the eigenvectors are the columns of this matrix v here so what we are having there is this part here that's uh, the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to six and this part here one zero zero is the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue one what we are having here, the E there is a diagonal matrix which has the eigenvalues on the diagonal. These ones that we had, these ones they are appearing now on the diagonal. The V, yes, the eigenvectors, yes, its columns. So at this stage, if we want to, we can extract these vectors from this matrix here. We can do that by using indexing. So I can extract those eigenvectors there. So for the first one, I'll call it v1. So if v1 is equals to, then we are saying that we want to extract a column from this matrix here. So it's v1. And then uh, I set the matrix that we want is the v, the uppercase v, because this is the matrix which has the vectors. Then open parenthesis. Then we we'll put a colon, then a comma, then specify that I am extracting the first column so it's comma one so v1 then i can just run there and as you can see the v1 has elements minus four over five two one it has extracted the first column of this matrix here so i have extracted that vector there so this is the vector corresponding to lambda equals to six so i can do the same thing for the other two vectors there for v2 when we extract it it will be v2 is equals to v open parenthesis and then colon and then comma and then two because we are extracting the second one and then for v3 i'll say is equals to v and then open parenthesis and then colon and then comma and then we are extracting the third column so I will then go on and run that. So we now have our vectors there. The first vector, V1, V2, and the last one there, V3. But uh, as you can see, these are the linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to the given eigenvalues. So all the other vectors are scalar multiples of these vectors. But we can rewrite these vectors if you want them to be all numbers here so for example this v3 for it to have all numbers there we can just multiply the v3 there by a 3 so that we have there 3 multiplied by the v3 and then i can run there as you can see it now gives us minus 1 minus 1 3 so if you want your output to be a whole number there you can just multiply there by the 3 there so that it becomes or numbers on these elements so as i said these are the linearly independent eigenvectors all the other vectors are scalar multiples of these three vectors that we obtained here